before I get started making this dessert. The crazy clickbait title, at least I thought it sounds like clickbait. A blueberry grunt is a dumpling and cooked wild uh, blueberries with whipped cream that is flavored with Canadian maple syrup. So, we'll proceed here in just a second or two and show you how to make a Canadian wild blueberry grunt. It gets its name, we think, that's one of the ideas of how it gets its name anyway, when the dumplings are cooking in the blueberries, they make sort of a grunting noise. And I'll try to capture that in the video here. It's not very loud and my camera doesn't, isn't that sensitive. So whether you'll actually hear the Canadian wild blueberries grunt or not, I don't know. But I hope you'll try this dessert. It is, in my opinion, delicious and not difficult to make. Well, to make a Canadian wild blueberry grunt, you need either a large uh, skillet with a cover or a large saucepan, stock pot, something like that, that can be covered. And it starts with four cups of wild Canadian blueberries. Mine are frozen. It's January as I'm making my Canadian wild blueberry grunt. So there isn't any chance of a fresh one. A half cup of sugar. The zest of a lemon and the juice of half a lemon. The recipe says a tablespoon. I didn't bother to measure. I used the juice of half a lemon. I won't go any further with this process. I won't turn the heat on until I have finished making the dumplings. So let's move on and do that next. The ingredients for the dumplings are one and three quarter cups of flour, just all purpose flour three tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. And I have those all in that little dish. A quarter cup of shortening, vegetable shortening, and a cup of milk. So, pretty straightforward, I guess. And blend the sugar, the baking powder, and salt in with the flour. the shortening in my hand just to get it combined Fairly well done. Add the milk. Basically the same as any dumpling that you would make for a stew or whatever, except <laughs> there's sugar in it. A sweet dumpling. I think that's about right. We'll move over and start cooking the grunt. It's combined. The dumplings are made. Turn the heat on here. It's giving these a chance to thaw a bit. What we're going to do now is, while these thaw, just stir it occasionally and bring it to a boil. back when something starts to happen. Well, now the blueberries have come to a boil. Reduce the heat just a second here and let them simmer for about three minutes. Well, the blueberries have simmered for three minutes and it suggests quarter cup measurements for the dumplings, just placing it on top. I am not getting out a quarter cup measure, just putting large gobs out of a tablespoon here. Wow. 
last one is much bigger than the other ones. Now that gets covered and allowed to simmer for about 15 minutes until the, uh, the dumplings have really risen anyway and are quite firm to the touch. So I'll cover it and bring you back in 15 minutes time or so. Well, while the dumplings are steaming, cooking, we'll make some maple flavored whipped cream. That's one cup of heavy cream, 35% butter fat, called heavy cream, called whipping cream, depending on where you're buying it, I guess. And three tablespoons of good old Canadian maple syrup. This particular brand is from Quebec which produces a lot of maple syrup the province of Quebec. An incredible theft story there two or three years ago. I forget how many thousands of pounds of maple syrup was stolen from a warehouse. I'm not too certain if it was ever recovered or not. Somebody had a big sweet tooth, some criminal. Had a market for it, I'm sure. Maple syrup. As usual, tastes very good. And just turn this on and whip it. It only took three or four minutes, if that. Nice whip. And mm, how could you go wrong with the flavor of cream and maple syrup together? Well, let's see how those dumplings are doing. I've brought the camera as close as I dare bring it to the frying pan so you can hear the Canadian wild blueberries grunting. It's very faint. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not, but I'll be silent for a few seconds here and see if you can hear it. Not very loud, but I guess that's where this dish gets its name. Maybe the person who named it was using more heat and getting a larger grunt. I don't know. I hope you were able to hear the grunt on that last clip. I haven't uploaded it yet. I mean, put it on the computer yet, so I don't know for sure. But uh, I will turn the volume up as loud as I can in that one and see if we can get you to hear the grunt. These are done, I guess. I'll shut the heat off. They've been about well, 16 or 17 minutes, I guess. I got distracted. Move my dumplings around here to get some blueberries. Making a mess of the bowl, but that's typical of me. And it won't be complete, of course, until you get some whipped cream on it. So let's move over and put some cream. I had a nice dollop of maple flavored whipped cream. And I'll give that a try and see what I think of it anyway. Well, this has a lot of my favorite flavors in it. I love cream, I love blueberries, lemon, and above all, maple syrup. So Get a little bit of everything here. It's still quite hot. Probably should let it cool down a bit before you serve it. You'll burn somebody. Mm. Oh yeah. Very good. If I must say so myself, right? Dumplings are nice and soft. Cooked through and through lovely flavor of the wild blueberries and you get a little hint of the lemon in the background mm. and of course the maple syrup in the cream well I hope you'll all rush out and make a wild blueberry grunt for you would work just as well with a large domestic variety of blueberries but my favorite are always being the wild berries, the small ones. 
all what you're used to, I guess, if you've only ever had the large ones and you appreciate the large ones more than I do, but I love the small native wild berries. You don't need to watch me eat the whole thing. So I will say thank you very much for watching and get this thing uploaded for you.